How's everybody doing today? Today we're in the garage and it's Tech Tip Tuesday. And the Tech Tip actually came up here the other day. We had someone, this customer of ours, that uh, he bought himself a muscle car on the internet, had it trailer to his house, had it dropped off. He started the car, calls me up in a panic and says, Joey, the motor's knocking. I said, okay, we'll get it over here. So he had it trailered over here and he starts up the car and I says, buddy, the motor's not knocking. Keep in mind, this is a big block nitrous car, okay? And I told him, I said, it's not knocking, it's called piston slap. And the reason why it has piston slap is because a lot of people in other machine shops, they like to set up large piston to wall tolerances. The motor actually kind of sounds almost like a diesel noise. Some people get a little scared of it. They're worried about busting off piston skirts, so on and so forth. But a lot of people with different applications set up different tolerances. So for example, I'm doing blown alcohol. I got my Hemi piston. And I talked to the manufacturer, which is J&E, and they told me, Joe, we'd like to see, you know, seven and a half thou, maybe eight thou piston of wall tolerances. So, how you can check that yourself is you can get yourself a set of dial bore snap gauges and they're spring loaded. You drop them down into the cylinder, you find center, you tighten the nut and it locks it in place. Get yourself a set of calipers and then you can mic it, check it and see what you got, right? But if you don't have, you know, dial bore gauges and you don't have a, a good set of calipers, you know, what you can do is use feeler gauges. Every mechanic should have a feeler gauge. You take the piston and you drop it down in the cylinder and you want to just work your way up from a small tolerances, let's say three, four, five, until you get it to where the piston just barely wants to slide down in there with, without a lot of drag. You don't want too much drag because that's going to throw you off because you can actually force that piston in there and actually crush it and give you the tolerances you think you have and that's not going to work either. So a set of feeler gauges will tell you everything you need to know. And it doesn't hurt to take time if you're building your own motor and double check the machine shop's work. There's nothing wrong with that. Make sure that you do it. You know why? Because it's human error. It doesn't mean that, you know, the machine shop screwed up. It's just sometimes it happens. A lot of shops are busy. It doesn't hurt to grab a set of calipers, grab a micrometer and feeler gauges and go through everything from crank journals to rod journals, even the piston to wall tolerances. So if you build a motor and you know you're gonna have large pistons and wall tolerances, chances are you're gonna hear that diesel piston slap clatter. Don't be afraid, a lot of race car motors are set up that way. If this helps you out, you guys like what I got to say, subscribe to my YouTube page in the garage. Peace out, we'll see you next time.